We've recently launched uh, our Vision 2020, uh, which is about inspiring a world of difference uh, for our stakeholders through the creation of shared value. And shared value is really about positive reinforcement between economic value creation, social value creation, and environmental value creation. And we recognize through to 2020, we want to create world-class businesses generating superior shareholder returns, but we want to also do that in a way which creates positive societal outcomes. Now, this concept of shared value is not new for us. Our value-based management approach for the last number of years has always envisaged that responsible corporates uh, need to add value for all of their stakeholders, which include shareholders, customers, employees, but also include the principals whose brands we represent and also the broader uh, society, communities and environment within which we operate. However, the concept of shared value actually takes us a step further. It recognizes that we need to embed these concepts uh, into our day-to-day -day strategic decision-making. Uh, and that is what I want to speak to you about today. Maybe a little bit of background on the concept would be useful. And I think if one goes back to the 2008 financial crisis, it is evident that in some cases business was seen to prosper at the expense of society. And this led to diminished trust between business and society. The concept of shared value aims to address that because it looks at the creation of positive economic outcomes at the same time as driving positive uh, social outcomes, in other words, environmental uh, and social outcomes. There are many examples in which we are already doing this in Bala World today. For example, we are partnering with educational institutions such as Teach South Africa and the Tundalwazi Maths and Science Academy. This is very important because it provides educational upliftment opportunities for the communities where we operate. But it also develops a skills base in South Africa which we will draw on into the future in order to provide products and services and solutions to our customer base. Within our power business, we've recently been involved in a very innovative project where we're using animal waste to generate biogas, which is in turn driving a gas uh, caterpillar genset to produce electricity for the BMW uh, Rosslyn plant uh, just outside of, of Pretoria. That's providing renewable energy solutions to the customer, uh, but also providing demand for our caterpillar energy products. Another very good example is our component rebuild center out at Boxburg, where we're actually remanufacturing and rebuilding components for Caterpillar equipment uh, in that facility. It's great for the customers because it provides them with a more cost-effective solution than buying new components, but it also conserves resources, it reduces waste, and it is much more energy efficient uh, than building new components uh, from scratch. Another great example is the $14 million um, facility we've just built up uh, in the Copper Belt in Zambia. Now that is good for our customers because it, it provides them with uh, products and services and solutions closer to their areas of operation. But it also it creates jobs in the local community. And through our training center up there, we're also providing skills development opportunities uh, for the locals, which service our needs, but also provide upliftment to the communities on the Copper Belt. Another great example is, is within our Avis business, where we're recycling rainwater uh, for washing the cars uh, in our operations uh, around the country. This is a cost-effective solution for us, rather than purchasing water from the municipality, but is also very environmentally friendly. In our agriculture business, we're partnering with farmers uh, in the country, with providing them with products and solutions which increase agricultural productivity and yields. That's great for food security in the country, but it also creates demand for our products and services uh, from, that, uh, from that farming base. So these are all examples of things that we're doing already today in our various businesses. Things that are creating economic success and business growth for Bala World, but at the same time generating positive social and environmental outcomes within the areas and communities where we're operating in. And I would actually go a step further. I would say our success into the future, um, that is part of our Vision 2020, will be defined in part as to how we are capable of developing products, services, and solutions that drive economic success and business growth, but at the same time uh, deliver sustainable social and environmental outcomes. And the extent to which we are able to do that innovatively and successfully will determine, to a large extent, the future prospects, growth and sustainability of this company.
And for that reason, I would really encourage you to embrace the new strategic planning process which we've launched within the group, which will give you an excellent tool set in order to creatively and innovatively apply your mind to the kind of product, services and solutions we'll need into the future that can drive shared value creation for all of our stakeholders.